Welcome back to the Grand Solar Minimum channel. Today is Friday, July 5th, 2019. Our solar wind is sitting at a 432.9 kilometers per second with a density of 2.3. Our sun is once again blank. This makes for seven spotless days in a row for a year-to-date total of 116 spotless days. Our KP is at a 2 with a 24-hour max of a 2. We are awaiting solar winds flowing in at about 550 kilometers per second from this coronal hole we've been watching this week. It should reach Earth today today sometime through tomorrow solar storms are predicted to be minor if any at this time and now here's mari thanks mari just kidding i guess you guys know jake's missing from this broadcast don't worry he will be back on live tonight at 9 p.m eastern standard time for our hour-long live show now yesterday southern california experienced its strongest earthquake in two decades when a 6.4 magnitude tremor struck near the community of Ridgecrest, which lies about 150 miles north of Los Angeles. This happened about 10.30 a.m. local time. While the quake has caused significant damage in Ridgecrest, a population of 28,000, the community has declared a state of emergency. There have been no reports of any serious injuries within Ridgecrest or surrounding areas. Fortunately, the epicenter was located far away from major population centers limiting its impact. Cymatologists say that the danger is not over yet and there are likely to be more earthquakes to come, which could be even more powerful. Lucy Jones says this does not make the big one less likely. There is about a 1 in 20 chance that this location will be having a bigger earthquake in the next few days and that we have not seen the biggest earthquake of this sequence. In fact, there are already more than 150 aftershocks with a magnitude of 2.5 or greater. The USGS predicts over the next week or so there could be as many as 700 magnitude 3 aftershocks, which, while minor, are large enough to be felt near the epicenter. Aftershocks tend to decrease in frequency over time, but some have the potential to be relatively powerful. On average, a magnitude 6.4 earthquake will produce an aftershock as large as a magnitude 5.4 and about 10 aftershocks with a magnitude 4.4 or larger, according to the USGS. Earthquakes of this size can cause damage, particularly close to the rupture. The USGS also estimates there is around a 9% chance of an aftershock with a magnitude of 6.4 or higher occurring in the next week. The initial 6.4 quake was felt by millions of people in the region, including residents in the greater Los Angeles and Las Vegas areas, although no significant damage was reported with these major population centers. The 6.4 quake is the biggest to strike Southern California since 1999. In October of that year, a 7.1 quake struck a part of the Mojave Desert. Luckily, the remoteness of the area meant that there was little damage. Officials are reminding Southland residents to make sure emergency kits and plans are ready for the next damaging quake. As Jake said in his forecast, we do have incoming space weather, which may amplify these effects. We will be on live tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We will have our world news, climate news, and weather news. Please join us in the chat. If you are not subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and share it on your favorite social media platform.